Rusty, I got my hands on the rewritten, like the whole film. Let's watch it. What's have, up? Have you watched it in a while? I haven't watched that for eight years, I bet. Uh, so I watched the rewritten intro. We're gonna go inside really quick. I want you to watch it because to me, that was like one of the all time, like best intros that well, I, at intro, least that I've ever been part of. The intro was for sure the sickest intro. It was so many moving parts, so much stuff, people, I think there's like seven boats, so seven drivers, seven riders, all the film crew, helicopter pilots. Mer Merrick was like just born. Oh yeah. One year. And okay. now, now look at the tank. What's up? Yeah. So, Is hey buddy. Ready? How are you? What's up, bro? How are you? Good, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's Merrick. Hey, we we're talking about the rewritten uh, movie and you were like a baby. Yeah, was that like, 09? Literally. Because remember my pro model came out yeah, in 2009? I think, so. I think so. That's what we're talking about. Awesome. We're going to go inside and watch it and then we'll come right back out and talk. We're going to be uh, cruising at an altitude of 45,000 feet. And uh, if you look out to the right side of the plane, you'll notice the Grand Canyon. That was uh, one of the natural wonders of the world. <laughs>
honestly, of all the, the things, like the wakeboarding moments that I've been part of, that was really up there in one of the top moments because like wakeboarding is not just about what? I had a phone call. I just, oh, so, no. Sorry. So wakeboarding for me is not <laughs> just about like like my moment out there, but it's, a, it's about the entire crew who's out there. And that was the biggest crew that I've been part of with it. If not, that's ever been assembled for this one shot. And like when we were riding back across the lake, so we would be on JD's Lake. Yeah. And thank, thankfully that it never got super windy. Or any other boats really were on the water at all. It was yeah, just for us. days in a row. And we would ride across the lake, smash the lake to pieces, like just mm -hmm. super rough. Let it calm down forever. And then try, try and then ride back. Remember, and then riding yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. You were talking to other guys who were landing big tricks. Yeah, with like all seven boats just running parallel to each other, just chasing back to the other side of the lake. And everyone was like, Jimmy was doing like toe nines and Chris O'Shea did like a sick grab heel seven. And there was, um, Dude, and it was just crazy. Looking, yeah. looking down the line, like you're riding and you're seeing all of these boats and you know, like that was awesome. It really just was. Just some cool moments. It was really cool moments. You guys have questions, comments, ideas for Rusty and I? Throw them at us. And subscribe. Enjoy your ride. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Look at the bee. But I remember where the, the idea for the intro sparked. And I had this idea that I wanted to have a boat drive this way, a boat drive this way, and they both turn into each other. And the riders would basically go from being next to each other and then cutting away and doing double ups away from each other. And it would get a helicopter shot. This is before drones. Remember this? Yeah. So I was like, and I drew it down on a piece of paper. I said, you could go like this and then like that, or you could have four boats and they all cross, making a box. And then mm -hmm. you said, and then I just thought, cause I thought of the same kind of idea, a little bit different, but one boat driving straight down the lake, like a, a weighted boat. So the wake was big straight down the lake and then have, I think there was like seven boats all slightly staggered. So like this boat, here, this boat here, and just slightly staggered down. And as the the first boat hits, guy does a double up, second boat double up, third, fourth, as it goes with that opening helicopter shot. Right. It'd be insane. So one one boat <clears throat> creates a roller, yeah. and then people just keep using that as a double up. And, and the boat's trying, all seven boats trying to stay what, I don't remember what it was, but call it like a hundred feet gap, you know? Yeah. At, so it was in sync, but you know, it was really hard to dial in. Do you, do you remember how much we practiced for it before we brought the helicopter in? Yeah. It was days, like. That was a lot of effort. It really was. a lot of people. Well, there were so many moving parts and um, we, we all went down to JD's Lake in yeah. Auburndale and we, all had our own boats there, which means you not only have to have your boat, you gotta have a driver and a rider. So there were so many people. Yeah, it was crazy. And we practiced it over and over. And uh, so, have you watched it in a while? I haven't seen it. I've like watched it just a little bit ago because I got the file. And we're gonna let him see it here in a second, but I want you to watch it. Because when I watch it, I, I kind of got pretty jacked. So, I'm, 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 watch this. I'm already jacked. Tell me you have like a little bit of a shoe thing. No, this but, is nothing. I know this is nothing though, right? Because no, this is like, this is like your... Hi, Lens. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Thank you. This is nothing. Right what? Remember like, your shoes? Russia, when we travel, oh like he wants to go look at shoes. I've been looking at shoes. A little TV for when you want to watch the game. New shoes. <laughs> shoe fetish, more on one. Rest, Rusty has like a bit of a shoe addiction, but he admits it. I don't think I do. <laughs>